Tradition. It's all well and good. It's nice to have some traditions. It's nice to have some regular, well-known, thought-out procedures and methodologies for doing things. But what about when you change some of those things? We've seen it in the past. We used to have paste waxes, then we moved on to uh, liquid waxes, then on to sealants, and now we've got ceramic and graphene coatings. So things have moved on there. But when you think about your wheels and your tires, specifically your tires actually, well then you are kind of left with some of the old school products. You've got tire dressings. Tire dressings are a very commonplace product. There are different types of tire dressings. You've got the silicon types, which give you lots of high shine and weather durability. And you've got the matte looking ones, the, the natural OEM look ones, which might be water based and don't last very long. What about not dressing your tires? What about conditioning them instead? Well, that's something I'm going to be looking at today with Garage Therapy's One Tire Serum and this funky little brush. So a rubber conditioner, it's a very different kind of product. It's something designed to go into your tire. That's exactly how it describes it. Give me just a moment here. It says here that it's a premium tire and rubber conditioner. So it's not just for your tires, can be for other rubber trim, that nourishes and protects all types of rubber trim and tires. It is designed and formulated with a special blend of advanced polymers that penetrate into the rubber to replenish lost moisture. Now that's an interesting thing. Along with UV resistant hydrophobic polymers to encase and protect newly treated rubber behind a fantastic satin like new finish. Now that's, that's all ringing good things with me. So it's going into the tire. It's going to protect the rubber itself. It's going to replenish that moisture. That means that the rubber is going to be nourished somewhat, which is fantastic. I like the idea of that. Also hydrophobic, which means it's going to be fighting off water. It's not going to be so likely to be washed off and UV inhibitors as well, which is great. That stops rubber from cracking in the sun. I know we don't get a huge amount of it here, but that's one of the things. So really, really interesting product that. And then there's this little tiny brush. And I was talking about this to my good friend and podcast co-host Paul Dolden. Now he tried it before I did and he was singing its praises, but this is the first time I'm going to be trying it today to see how well it works, to see what kind of thing this can do. Now I get the idea of it. It is a very, very densely packed brush. I'll show you a close up when we get into the video later, but it's a really short brush. It's got really short fibers, but there must be about a million of those fibers packed in here. It is so dense that honestly, it's almost, it's almost like you can't even spread them apart because there's just so many of them. That's going to be great because that short pile should hopefully help you get that product onto the tire and also into all those little grooves around the lettering and so on of your tires. I know modern low profile tires have more of a flat surface, but if you're a bit cheap like me and you can't afford those really nice low profile tires, then the less expensive ones tend to have more of those grooves in them around the letters and so on. And it can be a bit of a pain. Now to compare this, what I normally use is some packing foam. These are strips of packing foam that came in a parcel actually from Brazil. And uh, they are what I use. I usually chop off about an inch, inch and a half long section and use that to apply my dressings or anything that's going on to the tires. The trouble is they're very absorbent. So half the product disappears into these. So what I'll be testing is to find out whether or not I have to apply lots of product to this, if it's going to soak it up into the fibers or if it's going to keep it on the surface and allow it to spread out easily. Also, I do like the cleanliness idea that it sits, you know, in between your uh, your fingers there, between your knuckles, helps you maneuver it around. This is all going to be something I'm really looking forward to trying out. So with that in mind, it's a beautiful day. Let's get outside and give them a try. So before doing anything, I want to stick these little pieces of wooden offcut behind each tire. And this is to raise the height of the tire. And this will uh, also allow the shoulder of the tire to stick off to the side 
Uh, it takes a few goes to do this to get it absolutely right and get it dead centered where you want it. But this is what it looks like when it's up there. I know that tire does need a little bit of air, but as you can see, the shoulder is high and clear. This is the state of the rear wheel and tire. Not too bad there. The front wheel though, I have left it for longer than I would like to admit. But as you can see there, there's a fair amount of grime, dirt, brake dust and all sorts of other debris on that wheel and the tire too. The tire is looking pretty shabby. So we're going to get onto this right now. First off with a very good rinse down with the pressure washer. That is the Carscope UK 40 degree nozzle on my stubby gun. That is Garage Therapy's one wheel shampoo into a bucket of water. I also have a mixture of it in this pump foamer here. About 20 ml of the shampoo to one liter of water. And that's going to be my wheel cleaner. This is Garage Therapy's zero decon shampoo diluted at 10 to 1 in my spray bottle. And that is the SGCB tire scrubbing brush. I'm getting the tire scrubbed down as much as I can here. Make sure you remove as much dirt as possible because if you're going to be adding a dressing or in this case some sort of rejuvenating product you want to make sure that the rubber is as clean as it can possibly be. I'm using the large wheel woolly here around the barrel of the wheel. It fits very nicely because the brake caliper there, actually that's not even a caliper that's a brake drum, it doesn't have any bits sticking out so the big wheel woolly gets in there nice and easily and I'm dunking it into a bottle, a bottle, a bucket of clean water to rinse it out then this is my Vican wheel face brush again dipping it into the bucket of water with the one wheel shampoo as well it's a very effective product as a wheel cleaner rinsing it out give it another go over now rinse everything off again and make sure that tire is definitely clean one way to find out another hit of the decon shampoo and the scrubbing brush and that foam is still coming up brown so it's not done yet definitely needs another go over and because I'm very OCD about this I want to check did I get everything out maybe this video is worth a little like and a subscribe from you too so there you go white foam means it's now clean now that I've cleaned off the tire I want to hit the wheel for some iron fallout remover. This is Garage Therapy's Zero Iron Oxide. It's a mixture of iron fallout remover and their Zero Decon Shampoo. So it's a cleanser as well as an iron fallout remover. And I'm spraying some here onto the large wheel woolly. This is only to spread it around. This is to make sure that the iron fallout remover gets everywhere around the barrel and the face of the wheel because that is the kind of product it is. Spread it around and it gets to more parts of the wheel. That means it's going to be more effective on the iron fallout. Now there's not going to be so much on a back wheel here with a drum brake. But once that's all rinsed off, and make sure it's all properly rinsed off, I'm drying it here with my pet blower. This is high speed warm air. In fact, it was actually getting quite hot I think it gets to about 70 degrees. So mind your hands with this. And here I am blowing off the loose water and I'm also using the heat to evaporate the water from the tire. And that means the tire is clean and dry and ready to have something applied to it. And also those center caps are looking really tatty. So they're coming off. Now this is the brush I'm going to be using. This is the Pure Star brush supplied very kindly by Carscope UK. It's got a cute little garage here that we're kind of calling this now. And there's the brush. Make no mistake, this is a super dense brush. It's so hard for the camera to focus on it because there's just so many fibers. There must be millions of fibers in there. You can see them super duper dense this is what's going to carry any product like a dressing or something like that this is going to carry it across your tire and get it into all the grooves all the nooks and crannies all the little lettering areas also has nice ergonomics there where you can get your 
fingers around it, get it into the knuckle area. And it holds it in this little garage there and allows the water and product to drip out of it as well. It has a little gap at the bottom. So here is the Garage Therapy Tire Serum applied to that little brush. Now I wasn't sure how well it would spread and like many products which I've used to spread products in the past, some of the product did sink into the brush. I think after a couple of applications, you start to find more of it sitting on top of the fibers. So I was being a little bit heavy handed here with the application. I know it doesn't look all that great. Some of it was evaporating off quite quickly too. I was taking my time with this. I wanted to make sure it got in where I wanted it to go, but the brush did make it very good, very, very easy to get into the lettering and the grooves and so on. So I was quite heavy handed with this application. However, here on the front wheel, after giving it some application on the rear tire, this time with a thinner application and going faster around the tire, I was able to get a much more even coverage and that one application went around the whole tire. I did not reload the applicator brush like I did with the rear tire. This gets two coats. The rear tire got a single coat, which was thick. This will get two coats one hour apart. There is the cherry on the cake, new orange center caps to go with a new gray and orange theme that I've got going on or I will have going on soon. And here's what it looks like. That's the front tire after two coats of the tire serum. And the rear tire there got a single thicker coat. And you can see it does return it to quite an OEM look of the tire there. It looks really, really nice. It's not overly shiny. It's not super duper matte. It's just a really nice natural finish. If that's the kind of thing you're after, this is the front tire where it had two thin coats one hour apart. You can see the wheels are much cleaner there, although they do need a refurb and the tires look fantastic. So there you have it, a couple of fantastic products. Now, as far as the dressing is concerned, I keep calling it a dressing and I'm sorry, Garage Therapy. I'm so used to talking about tire products as dressings and that's something that I think we need to move forward. It'll be interesting to see if other companies come along and have their own alternative as a tire treatment, as a, uh, a conditioner rather than just a dressing. We'll see how that goes. But what I did is apply them differently front and back. So I'm going to be coming back to it later on. Check me out on Instagram. I will come back in about a week's time and then two weeks time and find out how well they've lasted. See how it goes because different applications will show different things. And here it's still summertime, thankfully. So the tires won't be getting too bad, but we'll keep an eye on that. And also this brush, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. I think it's £5.95 on the Carscope UK website, not including delivery. You'll have to pay delivery. So it means it's going to be getting closer to about £10. But honestly, for something like this, which is a brush, which means that you can clean it out. Now, it's not the easiest to clean out because of the dense fibers. Keep that in mind. But if you run lots of water through it, then it's pretty good. The other nice thing about it is that as it's hanging, it's hanging with the fibers going down and not up. You know, you're not putting it upside down for them to go back into the plastic. So it's falling out. So that means that water is going to drip out of it, things like that. I honestly, I've never had a product that's been so easy to apply uh, something onto tires. It really is absolutely phenomenal. I, I, every now and then a product comes along that makes you go, wow, why have we not done this before? Now I've used brushes before to apply dressings and so on to tires, but nothing like this. The short pile, the, the very thick pile, but the short length of these fibers makes it incredible. And the absolute sheer number of them, like I said, there's probably a few million fibers in here. It's so well packed, means that they help to get all of your dressing or product like that onto your tire. So it really is absolutely phenomenal. I definitely recommend you guys go and try it out. If you want to find out more about this, I will leave a link to the Carscope UK website down in the description box, as well as a link to the Garage Therapy website where you can pick up some of the tire serum and all of their other products that I've been using today. 
However, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video uploads. In the meantime, though, my name has been Specky. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.